To baseball, the Mets did not start dominant, but they have gotten good. Lost first five games of the season. They are now 10 and three since then, and now they're trying to sweep the Dodgers. Problem is, the Dodgers have that man. There are a lot of eyes on Shohei Otani. So when he does this, take all the pictures. Bottom of the third, the two-run homer to right center. That is his 176th career home run. That puts him ahead of Hideki Matsui for the most among Japanese-born players, and he did it in a substantially shorter time frame. As That's well. kind of stuff you write in the lead-in. There you go. Dodgers go up 2-0. Mookie Betts is good, too. He also plays for the Dodgers. To left center. Score one. Do you want to do the lead in the next hour? We still have time. Well, Tony, I have one in the bank. Dodgers up 3-0. Later in the fifth, base is loaded for Frederick. Freeman. Sterling Marte tried. Nope. Two runs score. Dodgers up 5-0. So about that series sweep. Because the next batter, it goes from Freddie... Yep. to Will Smith, and Will Smith has runners on second and third, and go ahead and bring them both in. That doesn't go over the wall, but it bounces off of it. Dodgers up 7 nothing, and on the mound, yes, Tyler Glass now did not have a good start the last outing, but he had a good one this time. Top of the sixth, Brendan Nimmo just keeps swinging. Not going to matter. Top of the ace, Harrison Bader looking. Glass now went eight. He struck out 10, like Tyrone Taylor. Allowed none. Dodgers avoid that sweep. They beat the Mets 10 0. Uh, Rangers Braves, Sunday night baseball. Huh. It's baseball tonight. You enjoy that? It was today? great. Excellent. It was several uh, hours ago. Atlanta looking to take all three from the World Series champs. Bottom of the first, we're scoreless. Uh, that's usually how it is when you come up in the bottom of the first. Two on for Marcel Ozuna. Uh, nobody needs to hurry because we're all going to just trot home. It's ninth. That leaves the bigs. Braves lead 3-0. Guess what? It's not the kind of lead that would hold. World champs get it down to 3-1. They've got two on. Andrew Kisner on a changeup. He's going to change the scoreboard. Three-run Jackson right there. His first of the year. And now it's 4-3. Tejas into the eighth. Dolis Garcia. Excellent spikes. Big swing. Smash. Two-run home run there. He was two for four. Also had a double. Rangers lead 6-3 on his sixth. And then Michael Harris. That's a can of corn out there. Garcia coming on. Oh, boy. That's a big league error, kids. Yep. Communication. So we're going to charge that to him and see if we can get out of this jam right now. Austin Riley, he's A, to hit big flies. But um, sometimes you do that. And that's just enough. Sneaks it into right field, runs, scores. Now we got guys in the corner. David Robertson facing Matt Olson. Cutter, that's tough to hit high and outside the zone. Ozuna comes through. Hopped up, way up. Second base, I'll take care of that. So the Rangers and out away from getting out of the jam. Pitching change, we bring in Kirby Yates. Orlando Arcia's up now. Arcia goes down. Yates works a perfect nine on top of that. So he gets four outs. Rangers get a 6-4 win, avoid the sweep in Atlanta. A little earlier in the day, you had the Orioles paying a visit to the Royals. Top of the third, no score, Colton Kowser. So he had a little mishap with a fly ball. Threw like the save from Craig Kimball into the fountains yesterday after their win. Now he's going there on his own with a home run. Those are okay in the fountains. The special balls, not so much. Then next batter, Jordan Westbrook. They went back to back. Both of those home runs, and Seth Lugo, who, by the way, hadn't given up a home run since September. That would be last season. Orioles up 2-0, make it 3-0. Ryan Mountcastle, this is in the sixth. That goes to left field. Score one, and Anthony Santander. Then in the eighth, bottom of, Orioles up 4-0. Royals trying to rally. Salvador Perez is going to look at that one. Then Nelson Velasquez, he's going to at least swing. Orioles win 5-0. It's their first shutout of the season. It's also the Royals' first shutout of the season. The Orioles' side of it is, is better. Fear the beer. Brewers Cardinals top and bottom Nano Central here in the first month of baseball. Milwaukee, they've taken the first two out of three in the series. Sonny Gray pitched beautifully for the Redbirds. Look at the curveball. Uncle Charlie's at the ballpark. Gray struck out 12. Six of them on the old big sweeper that the crew could not handle. 
Like that is, uh, the Yacker was chatting with people. Go to the seventh, Owen Miller. Got called up recently against Gray. Oh, there's a little base knock to the left side. That's his first hit of the year. Blake Perkins writes Terang's score. He goes six and a third, five hits, but two runs, and that's all the Brewers need. Four pitchers for the crew combined to shut out STL. Hi, Cousin Dana. The Brewers won. What did the Cubs do? Marlins. The second place button? Cubs. Top of the second. He's too Sanchez. He was at the plate, and then he is like so long gone. That's in somebody's beer out there. Beer. Ring reveal. That's a 460 footer. Marlins on the board first. It's 1 nothing. In the fourth, Cubs now down 4 2. Cody Bellinger. He's got runners on. That's going to score one of them. A little bloop. Left field. Cubs cut into that lead. It is now 4 3, but now give me all the jazz hands. Top of the fifth. The jazz chisels. Runners on first and third. That's going to score the guy on third because that's how they have to run. Luisa Rise is the man. Marlins take the 5 3 win, but they were attacking another one. The win 6 3. They took two of four in the cutting. Yankees lead the Aliens. They lost yesterday to the Rays. Aaron Judge, he got booed. He did. Tough crowd. We're in the fifth. Tied at one, two outs. Bases chucked for Alex Verdugo. Look at Doogie. A base knock. Stanton, Rizzo come in. The Yanks lead 3 1 as Verdugo is in with a single. Next batter, runners on the corners. Jose Trevino. Line drive to center. Labor Torres comes in to score as well. Aaron Judge enjoys what he sees because, well, he got a base hit in this one, so nobody yelled at him. Ooh. Oswaldo Cabrera. So we got back. The back to back two out hits. That's what you need to be a good ball club. Yankees extend their lead 5 1. Yeah, heavens crowded with three guys doing that. Top of the ninth, Rays have it to 5 4. So the cheese is a little more binding. Two outs. Or Ramirez liner right back at Victor Gonzalez. Hits it. There you go. Tracks it down. Rizzo's got it. Nice job, Sizzle Jess. Nice work there. Sweet play by Gonzalez. We talk about the slide. Stays with it. I'm not a slide. I like to run through the base, but what do I know? You slowed down. It's just physics. Yankees win 5-4. Astros hosting the Nats. Series tied at one. Bottom of the first. There's a runner on second. And Jesse Winker is a friend. Jesse is a friend, just not of the Astros. Score one. And the Nats have a 1-0 lead. Now we go from Winker to a couple of batters later. Now we've got runners on second and third. And it's Luis Garcia Jr. at the plate. And he is going to hit that to center field. And that's not going to score one. That's going to score two. The Nats now have a 3 nothing lead. The fifth. So 3 nothing. Base is loaded. Reminesis. That's going to go right. Back on two more. What is happening here? Nats extend their lead. It's now 5 nothing. Mitchell Parker was on the mound as well. We're going to show you what he did in the sixth because Dave Martinez says he has such poise. Jose Altuve. Kyle Tucker. Parker went seven, allowed three hits, zero earned, and he struck out eight because the Astros couldn't do anything. Meanwhile, bottom of the sixth, Nick Senzel. Goodbye. Which is what you could also say to anyone in the ballpark. This game was over. Nats win, six nothing, and they take the series two games to one. Someone says seeking one more time. Phillies hosting the White Sox. It's cold, it's windy, they're going for a sweep, but it is birthday week for the Philly Fanatic. Technically, his birthday's on Thursday. Phillies are on the road, so we celebrate today with all of our mascot friends. He'll be 46. Bryce Harper, birthday gift. I mean, he gave him a baseball glove, but this will work too. Phillies have been down 2 0. It's now 2 1. Then after the Phillies tied it at 2, Brandon Marsh is up. Harper's at third. Harper is now going to come home. E.T. phone home. Wait, E.T.'s not a mascot. The no. Phillies take the 3 2 lead. Then in the sixth, uh, Schwarber. Schwarbaum for Kyle Schwarber. 423 feet of We Need a New Baseball. His sixth of the season. The sweep is on. It's getting very dusty in here. Phillies win, 8-2. So in all, there were eight big league teams looking to put brooms to the behinds of their opponents on Sunday as the Guardians were seeking, seeking. a sweep. I'm going to throw things at you. Throw <laughs> over Oakland. Uh, bottom of the second, Will Brennan. Brennan clobbers that one. 
solo shot. Second home of the season. That's good. Proves it wasn't a fluke the first time. Guardians lead one zip. Bottom third. Andres Jimenez is up with a man on second. What's the opposite of clobbering something? Sneaking. <laughs> Hit one the other way. Just a little work it out there. Guardians lead 2 0. Good RBI single. Still counts the same. Game tied at two now. Josh Naylor up with the bases loaded. Going to flash back to yesterday. Josh, he's locked in. The two run shot for Obiggin right there. And then celebrates the only way a man like that size knows how. Hits himself in the head with a bat. Of course he would. So today, we come back and let's see what we've got. How about we put the bat on the ball first? Good. And then let's see what happens with the old melon in the cranium. Well, with the base load, first he starts the merry-go-round. So everybody gets the score, which is nice. Nailer three RBIs, and he's left the bat. I can only assume everyone's fine. Everyone is fine. We're yeah. still seeking. <laughs> Oven. You are in trouble. The Reds are the seeking ones this yep. time over the Angels. Bottom of the sixth inning. So fun. No one had scored. That's going to change here. Christian Encarnacion and Strand. That's to center field. I mean, Ellie's got wheels. He's out there. He's coming in. Nick Martini's going to follow suit. Shaken, not stirred. Reds on the board. It's 2 nothing. Next batter is Jamer Candelario. And he's going to line out to center field. Mike Trout is there at the wall. Mike Trout. Whoa, Mike. Success was not an option there. What, like, no? Mm -mm. Not a sub above. Nope. So the lead Where's is now 3 0. I mean, he's okay, but okay. Mickey Moniak now at the plate, top of the ninth. This is not going to work. Shallow pop up. Santiago Espinal is there. The sweep has been. Wait, if you're seeking, the sweep has been. <laughs> See? You saw it. <laughs> that doesn't work. Seeking. Who says that? Uh, Mariners and Rockies got the goofy idea to play two games on Sunday. Bad weather, scrub Friday's game. This would be game one. That's how I start. Bottom nine, two outs. Jacob Stallings at the dish. Be a hero, big man. Oh, get out of here. Hammers that. Over the fence, except, oh, there's a fan reached over, tried to grab it. Rockies are convinced. This, listen, they, they're hurting. They've lost a bunch of row. So walk off home run, we're good. Umps are going to go to the earmuffs. Take a look at this thing again. And the fan oh. over the fence and drops it. So first off, that's an error. They air. really interfere, though. It's also not a home run. So they, they, they rule fan interference and turn around. And everybody in Oriole land is like, yeah, now you call it. Uh, there's Ryan McMahon grounding it. Charlie Blackman is going, Charlie. So they walk it off anyway. The Rockies win it 2-1. All is right in the world. And then, since the Rockies win the first one, they are seeking the sweep of the doubleheader in the second game. Scarf down a PB&J, put on a clean uniform, and here we go. J.P. Crawford with the bases chuck. Start the merry-go-round. It's off the wall. People are running. Now it's off our over our head. Everybody's running as fast as they can. Keep running. Everybody thinks they're Christian Coleman. 5-2. Mariners lead, and the six, Cal Raleigh's up. Got a runner on, two outs, two out hits, get you to heaven. Maybe not in a 7-2 game. Uh, Earth is full, go home. It's into the old nature park they got back there. 9-2, and Raleigh now gets to go sturgeon spearing, because he has a trident. I mean, as long as it works.